Wagwan Wichita YouTube. Pat for This Land Bowden here and I brought the fam out to the Chamna Natural Preserve here in Richland, Washington. It's this cool little, uh, well it's a preserve settled down between the highway and nestled in between the Yakima and Columbia Rivers near where they meet. So we're gonna go check it out, see if we can snag some wildlife, check out the natural plants and show you what it looks like to be right next to a wildlife area that could be minutes outside of your back door. Come along. This really fun little oasis space. This is kind of nice. It's like in the middle of a city, here is this deep, nearly wilderness experience covered with mosquitoes. That's just something you deal with when you go into a riparian area in the middle of spring. High summer, it'll be a slightly different ordeal. But just look at this. Look at the fun you can have if you just Get on the Google and search the nearer places around you. There are places to go, places to see, experiences you can have that are close. And all you gotta do is check it out. And as you can see up there, raging, are the kids too. It's spring, the flow, flow season is high, the water's coming down out of the mountains. And so even sometimes you try and get access to trails and have a good time even near you but you can't because there's water but it's just one of those really awesome opportunities to take a look at nature and think that water used to be hundreds of miles away up in the mountains and now it's down here in a desert in richland and it's preventing me from going somewhere so even if your feet are getting wet and you're having a rough time you just think about how cool that is that that water used to be hundreds of miles away in a glacier that's awesome are you shooting oh okay so here is the woods rose. It's one of those ones, it's a big shrub. You can see the whole scope of the shrub right here. And the cool thing about the woods rose is this is a native plant to Washington and central Washington. You can see, here, zoom in a little closer. You got these blooms that only have those five petals. They're not like our normal roses, they're our, our uh, ornamental roses. But what's also great is they're still pretty aromatic and after they bloom out, the rose hips can turn out to make interesting food if processed correctly and can flavor honey. You can make teas out of them. They're super delicious that way. And one of the other interesting thing is too, is they just take over. They are an aggressive plant, but that's kind of what they do. And when they're in that natural balance of their habitat, then uh, they have other plants that they compete with as well. And I think it's super delightful. Um, and so there's a fun little guy. The pollinators enjoy them as well. I saw some golden current lying around, so we'll keep going down the trail and see if we can't run into some golden current. And here it is, golden current. This is the same shrub that you've seen in my plant profiles in the garden. And here are, get real close in here, look. Here are the berries doing their thing right here. So once these turn, actually some of these are edible right now. A little trail nibble. Mm. Still a little tart. It could use a little more time. But when you know what you're looking for and you know what you're looking at, suddenly an average kind of interurban trail walk turns into a delightful snack opportunity. And you get to see that, you know, our world's more amazing than we ever really imagined. Look at these guys. We can make some jam. Mm. There's Anya's expert mosquito evasion tactics. <laughs> Look at the size of this big leaf sage. This thing is taller than I am and I'm 6'2". And one of the really interesting things to know about these plants is these are plants that have to live in extreme drought ridden hot conditions. And so it takes them a long time to get very big. And look at how big this plant is. It blows my mind to look at this plant and think that this could easily be a 100 year old plant, 80 to 100 maybe. And that just, that drives me crazy to think about that, that we hadn't even developed the A-bomb and this guy could have been a seedling sitting right here in this ground where, believe it or not, Lewis and Clark themselves very well may have traveled. 
they would know they were definitely in the area. So it could be we're walking on that this space right here, right now. And this is part of that long history of the Pacific Northwest. Look at this random stump in the desert. <laughs> it's actually not that random, realistically, but... Well, away from its others. Yeah. Hey, your homies are over there. What are you doing? Hey, someone cut you down. Bummer, dude. Well, there was, there's our little adventure at the Chamna Natural Wildlife Preserve. It was an area riddled with invasive species, but also riddled with native species and just a place where you can't develop. Um, I want to throw a great shout out to the Washington Trails Association. They on their website, they have some great information on where to find hikes near you. That's how me and the wife came along to this one. And then there's also the Tap Teal Water Trail um, what do they got there? They have they have a group of people that uh, take care of this area, the Tap Teal Water Trail, and so shout out to them for doing their best and making sure these trails are maintained and making sure it's accessible to all of us. I appreciate all of that, and so uh, get out there. You don't have to go far to experience nature, and we just showed you a great case of that. So have a happy days, and remember, whatever you do for this land, you do for everybody. Thanks.